Good evening. So, um, I've discovered two things about myself. When my blood sugar is high, um, it makes me very shaky along with the steroids I'm taking. And it's really hard to put on your lipstick and your eyebrows <laughs> when your hands are like, uh. So, I was speaking with my nurse today and I was talking to her about makeup, which, hello, I was talking about makeup, but I was telling her like I had bought a few palettes this month and then I started thinking about it because I was like, oh, I only bought three or four eyeshadow palettes this month, which I ordered from ColourPop and then I started thinking about it like, uh, no. I went a little palette and makeup happy this month. <laughs> yes, this is my uh, my little bundle. So I thought I would show you guys the palettes and stuff I got this month. And I'm gonna start uh, with the worst one. This is by LA Colors. I bought this in the gift shop in the hospital for $3.99 and this is their take on what they think is bold eyeshadow. Okay, I see no boldness there. I mean, the deepest color in here is this purple and I mean, it's, it's like, okay. Well, I thought that would be a cute little basic. I was going to do a video on hospital glam, but I was so sick, girls and boys, that that never happened. But I did buy a few things in the shop. But anyway, that, you know, that was fun. But before I got sick, you know, I had, whoops that just happened I went you know I went on color pops website and so I was trying to get my hands on a couple of palettes now I really love these nine pan palettes I mean I just love them um, now the first two that I'm going to show you are two that I already owned previously and I just realized that I have several of these nine pan monochrome palettes now, and I really love them. This purple one is the first one I got. And I mean, it just has some dynamite colors in it and you can do some amazing looks with it. And then I wanted this green one because uh, I got it around St. Patty's Day because I was on the search for green. And at the time, I could not find green shadow to save my life. And then last month, I was wanting this palette, the Uh Huh Honey palette. So as soon as it launched, I was like on the site, ready to purchase. And everyone, like every bundle, every single of this palette, which is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to play with this. I love a good yellow shadow, but they were sold out. So it was my goal to get a hold of it. And then by the time, you know, the first rolls around, then they had launched a new palette the Orange You Glad palette. This one right here. And this little baby is so cute. We have these colors here. Now, I showed this to one of my nurse friends and because she had seen the video where I did a haul. And she was saying that these colors are more vibrant in person than they view on the, the video. 
which I've watched, rewatched the video, and I totally agree with that assessment. But they're just beautiful, beautiful shadows. And let's face it, I'm an eyeshadow hoarder, so. And then, while I was looking on ColourPop's website and purchasing, and putting things in my basket and taking it out, because I was like, oh no, that's too much money, I don't want to spend all that at once, I'll get it later, blah, blah, blah. I came across the Strawberry Shake Collection. And this little beauty I'm wearing on my eyes today, but these are some beautiful colors. They have everything from a like a deep, really sultry, bright berry to a more muted, soft, pinky color. And I did buy the whole collection for the strawberry palette because they also come with two blushes and two lip glosses and I will be posting a video it should be up tomorrow where I do a review of this palette and a try on and swatches and all that good stuff okay so <clears throat> that's my color pop stuff that I bought this month we set this to the side because as you saw there is a big old pile so BoxyCharm, a couple of months ago, they, one of the things that they had in the BoxyCharm was this Cover FX palette. And for a lot of us, they sent us the wrong shade because they sent me um, medium deep, which are these colors here. And as you can see, I am not medium nor deep, but Although I tried to get my hands on the fair one, like on different Facebook groups and stuff, um, every time I dropped the hammer, it would be sold like this, boom. But I decided to keep a hold of this palette because the shades in here are really good for eyeshadow. Well, finally, BoxyCharm and their charm shop had the face perfector, the perfector face palette in light medium. So I had I had to spend $25 of my own money because I didn't have enough charms. But it was $45 in the charm shop and I had 20 charms, so I got a little bit of a more than half price. And this is what it looks like. And these are just beautiful just beautiful this blush right here oh my gosh it is just perfect and I really haven't you know dipped my toe into any of the other the brightener or the highlighters that are contour just yet but I just I think I'm gonna really love it so far so good and then I think I showed in a previous video, I'm not sure if I showed you guys or not, but I was at Marshall's and I found this Cargo Cosmetics palette and it says on it, it says, you had me at Aloha. Is that not cute? It doesn't say that on the, the palette packaging, but the outer packaging it does. And it has a brush, but you know, I really don't really care about that. Um, the It kind of reminds me of the brushes that come in the Anastasia palettes. I mean, they're very, it's very nice and super soft. So I will get use out of the brush, but the colors are very gorgeous. Look at these colors. Sorry about the mirror glare there. So, and that it's really cool because the um, the shade names are very Hawaii esque, like Hula, Waikiki, Hapuna, Kona, Shell, Shaka, Luau, Le, Tiki, Kai, Island, and Hibiscus. So. That is just absolutely gorgeous. And when I was checking out, one of an older lady 
that was at the uh, that was on the checkout she's like now did you leave me one back there and I'm like yes yes I did I said you know because it was only like eight bucks I don't know how much these things retail for normally it says ten but I, I was gonna go check out the cargo cosmetics website I also found this festival feel color story palette this is like a pretty big one and the um, the pans are nice sized this was the only one like this that wasn't like totally destroyed but I mean it has a lot of I think they're mostly shimmers in here yeah there's one matte shade which is this one right here, Desert, and the rest of them are like a satin finish, which is totally cool. And then, I think I only picked this up for a couple bucks. Yeah, $5.99. I have never heard of this brand before, but this, this particular one is not tested on animals, so I'm down for that. It says it's a pressed pigments festival feel. And I think Color Story is the name of the brand. Like I said, I'm not real familiar with, I've never heard of this brand before, or the cargo one for that matter. But um, I'll be finding that out. And then I also got um, a Smashbox. It's the Cover Shop Prism Eye Palette. Now I know these retail for like 30 bucks and I paid $12.99 for it, which I thought it was a good deal. I've never used ColourPop, or er, ColourPop. I've never used Smashbox shadows before. But, oh, hang on, I got it uh, well, something, something. It's the bad thing about red lipstick. If you don't use a lip liner, it kind of migrates. But it's really cool because it's got this holographic or whatever it's called. Little thing there. And let me open her up. And here she is. The two shades here this one and this one are astronaut and rocket star they're both new finishes and it says it even has a sticker on here that says apply astronaut and rocket star with your finger not a brush for maximum pigment payoff let's take a look and see what kind of Kind of, it kind of reminds me of like a duochrome flip. This one's more purple. This one's like a peachy gold color. This one will show up a little better. But this is that's gonna be really pretty. So that's that's really pretty. And then finally. I had ordered some things at um, Ulta. So here's the deal, right? So they had this palette on sale. The Tutti Fruity Sparkling Pineapple Palette from Too Faced. And first of all, the packaging is just stinking cute. Little pineapples. And then you pop it open. It's got a little pineapple on the mirror. And those are the shades. I don't know. I just wanted this one to go with my other my other one that's like the sister of this palette. And oh, it smells like pineapple. So good. When I first opened it up, it had like a plasticky, chemically smell mixed with pineapple, but that, that dissipated quite quickly. 
And then Milani has popped out with two new palettes, the Gilded Noir and the Gilded Rouge. Now, these are retailing for $20 a piece and they're beautiful. So we went to Ulta, me and Marty did, and he wasn't doing too well. He was tired, you know, because I basically just drug him around Marshalls for a good hour. Plus, we met one of the nicest women. She was from out of town. I can't remember. It was something southern, maybe Texas or the Carolinas, Virginia. I don't know. Anyway, you could definitely tell she was southern. But we got into conversation about makeup. And normally, I'm not the, you know, strike up a conversation with just anybody type of girl. But you get me talking about makeup and I'm like all in. So we, we stood there for a good hour just talking about different makeup and YouTube and um, different YouTube channels that we follow, we like, um, you know, and she was, I think she was in her 60s and I had to go, you know, piddle off to the bathroom, of course, and uh, her and Marty just kept talking. I come back and they're still talking away, but so... After, like I said, after um, we went and to Marshall's, I wanted to go to Ulta and Five Below. But after Ulta, we were kind of really tired and I was really hungry. So, but I sat him down in front of the um, the Milani display that they had, like on an end cap. And I told they had these the demo set out, and I was like. I'm going to go look at something for a little bit. I said, why don't you help me pick out which one to buy? Because they're $20. And he was like, well, what do you want me to do? I was like, I want you to sit in front of the display and just stare at it. He's like, what? I said, just stare at it. And I want you to tell me which one that you think I should buy. Because he can be opinionated about my makeup choices. Sort of. So I had him sitting there for a good 10, 15, 20 minutes, and he's just intently looking at these, and then finally he just wanders and finds me. And I was like, Well, why'd you get up? And he was like, Oh, what am I supposed to be doing? <laughs> I was like, well, I want both of them, but I can't afford to get them right now. So I want you to help me pick out which one I should buy. So it turned out that I didn't buy either one. I just bought like a, like a gold eyeliner that they come out with. And then we left because we were both hungry and I wanted to get some food. And I was like, oh, I'll just come back later, you know, when I have more money. Because I was only allowed to spend $20. You know because we were on a very tight budget at that particular time and so right before i got sick i had went on the ulta website and instead of twenty dollars a piece they were marked down they were on sale for 11.99 so you know the girl pulled the hammer down and i bought both of them well the um The Gilded Noir, what it says about this palette, it says hyper pigment, pig, pigmented, uh, hyper pigmented eyeshadow palette, dark dimensions, buttery metallics, and unexpected pops of color, undeniably gilded. And one of the reasons that I was so drawn to this palette, I really love this blue. But every time I get a blue, it's not, it doesn't turn out exactly the way I expect it to. But the reason why I wanted this so bad is because they have these two shades right here, these two gold ones. And 
it's like, okay, at first I was like, oh, they're so different. Because one's called a solid gold and the other one's called raw cocoa or raw cocoa. But they're, you know, I love them both. So I really wanted to get that one. But then in the other palette, they also have another gold, and it's called Carrot. So now you have three, three golds, which this one and this one I think kind of look similar. I'm going to swatch them for you so you can see. So, I mean, I loved all three of the gold colors. So when I came across the gilded rouge which is this palette here and it says also hyper pigmented eyeshadow palettes fierce foils silky mattes and standout shimmers undeniably gilded and the one the reason i loved this palette it has more of like a purpley bluey color story and these two shades right here these are just pressed glitters. This shade here is gorgeous. And I couldn't choose. And I'm like, but I want them all. So your girl bought them all. But yeah, I was like, I was telling my nurse today, I was like, well, I only bought a couple of eyeshadow palettes. And then I started counting up. And I was like, okay, let's see how many I got. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, eight, nine. I bought nine eyeshadow palettes this month. The Space Perfector, that's 10 palettes. Bought this little thing, that's 11 palettes. Two blush palettes, two blushes, and two glosses, and an eyeliner. So I was like, you know, normally I might buy one or two eyeshadow palettes, normally just one, but apparently I was, I don't know, I was just like going, going for it, girl. I went for it. So I'm going to have a lot of cool um, tutorials coming up and um, I'm going to be having a special guest in my um, tutorial for Sunday so look forward to that and then uh, tomorrow you should be seeing the review for the strawberry shake palette which and side note strawberry shakes are my favorite shakes so thank you for joining me today at Lynette's Beauty Box hang on you're driving me crazy. The lip color I'm wearing, um, it's a matte lip from ColourPop, and it is called Snowflake. Right here. Now, here's the thing. I was looking at these lip lippies, and I thought it said an ultra blotted lip. And not an ultra matte lip because I'm not like a super big fan of the matte formula so today what I did is I put on this lip with my buxom Selena plumping lip polish and like I said it's a little bit difficult when your hands are shaking like that from medicine and whatnot to do anything straight but I gave it a shot you know me <laughs> so like I said thanks for joining me and checking out all the craziness with my makeup purchases this month and I love you guys and I will see you very soon in my next video so if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and subscribe Hit that subscribe button. You know it's free. It don't cost you a thing. Go ahead. Hit it.
punch that button, punch that button, and hit that notification bell so you'll be abreast of everything that we're uploading here at Lynette's Beauty Box. We love you, and you guys are awesome, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.